Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got patch notes that how to get a new void free legendary champion is going to be in this as well. There's skins coming to the game. There's fragments of skins coming to the game. We're going to talk all about it. Go ahead and hit that like. Let's get going. Ladies and gentlemen, check it out. We have Sexy Arbiter is now in the game. That is her official name. She's got herself wearing a little get up here. We have a lot of patch notes coming. First and foremost, if you look here within the patch notes, I'm going to break this down, paraphrase it for you because I already read it. They say that they are back right here. They're saying they're back, baby. Ukraine has repositioned themselves and they are now in a spot where they're feel a little bit safer. They're going to be able to work. So everyone's back to work on the game is what it sounds like or at least as much as they can be if you scroll down here they talk about the champion skins which i showed you basically they got a bunch of new champion skins out for arbiter some are coming out for code heart but they're not released into the game quite yet now if you scroll down some more the clan shop update here we are gonna get ourselves there is now a way you can get a free void legendary in this game over time 100 guaranteed so now we have that in the game and that is going to be in the shop next to Yonika, the clan shop, if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, if you go in here real quick, and it's not going to be replacing Yonika, which is great. If you go to the clan shop here, anyone who's been saving their points, well, you're in luck because we're going to be adding in another Void Legendary Hero right in there. Okay, skill instructions update. Check this out. We know you many of you ask for more control over your champions through skill instructions. We're giving you that. You'll be able to set different skill instructions for each round of the battle so now we can actually have more detailed instructions for the auto battle good timing with the champion training being here that should open up a great deal of flexibility in campaign battles dungeons faction wars and the doom tower all you have to do is select rounds one two or three and skill instructions set everything up so that way we can chew through waves quicker basically in the beginning then when you get to round three have it use the different abilities that way it'll focus down on the bosses pretty awesome super raid and faction wars is going to make faction wars quicker i like this super raid concept i originally didn't like it too much as time goes on i'm liking it more because it's just about saving time which is a big part of where the complaints are in this game multi-battle mode in faction wars as well so now you can collect up to 18 crypts keys at once collect your six keys from advanced quest before digging into it however you still only each day with 12 crypt keys after reset so now you can do multi-battle as well as the super raid as well as collect and stack up to all of your keys so you don't have to do the faction wars then collect the keys back and forth really smart changes champion rebalance for your caro who's going to be free he gets a nice buff i'm not going to read through all of these but it's a pretty decent buff in all honesty so he's going to be all right there's some other changes to other heroes like cleopatrix samar gem curse get buffed scar torsis gets buffed nobel thank god nobel was probably arguably the worst hero in the game base chat stage base speed increased from 92 to 98 it's not a big bump Effects will now decrease each enemy's turn meter by 50% instead of 20. That's a big deal. Chance of placing true uh, fear debuff increased to 75. What's 50? That's a good deal too. And hopefully when you book that, it goes to 100. So now if you look here, game experience updates. These are the ones I'm kind of excited about. Multi-battle attempt bundles are now added to your inbox separately after you attain them. This means you'll be able to pick them up one by one rather than being forced to collect them all at once. This is nice because before it's like 20 multi-battles times five or whatever, depending upon how you got them. Fix the bug that caused Arbiter not use her skills. Fix the bug that caused you rust the so cage to run in circles. The blue lightning effects around Sir Nicholas is now center aligned. A bug about the Dreadhorn's bomb staying in the battle after exploding. AI now correctly heals allies with Cornelia when using the revitalized skills. Ascension no longer counts and get five epic champions and get 10 rare champion clan quests. I have no idea this was actually happening. That's hilarious. And fixing error when collecting versus rewards in CVC tournaments. Pretty much that simple. The big win out of this one is now you guys get void legendary for free in the clan shop we have skins in the in the game that we can actually physically go peek at and take a look at and decide whether or not you want them i'm sure this is the test run with arbiter is going to be one of your first ones right you can get skin later which will allow you to purchase them or do tournaments for them i'm sure that we are going to be having ourselves something hilarious because there's one bit in here if you scroll down go to champion skins here and you wait through here heroic skins can be attained blah 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 blah, blah. but right here champion skins will be able to collect skin fragments in addition to getting the entire skin in one go so we're gonna have to collect skin fragments so i hope Ladies and gentlemen, today you are ready for the Skin Arbiter Fragment Fusion Event Tournament where you have to win fragments in four or five different tournaments in order to be able to actually get a skin. Um, I don't mind. I don't mind, honestly. As, lo it, it, as long as some of these other skins are easily acquirable and only one of them, it looks like this one, for instance, being locked behind like events or something like that. I'm kind of okay with it. It looks like we got a Hydra themed skin, obviously. We got the Marvel kind of theme skin, looks like Storm there. And then we have kind of our, our sexy, whatever, you know, dark 
I, what what the hell is it called? Lingerie? This isn't. This, this is kind of a more than lingerie. A battle lingerie. Battle lingerie wear? I don't know. I'm going to call it that. But, in all overall, in this update, uh, new stuff's coming to the game. Sounds pretty good. All this stuff's going to be pretty good. We have the we have the people back in their office actually working. It's all exciting. Thumbs up for me. Looks like a pretty good patch notes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to see all more of my videos. As we are back to daily content. And I'll see you on the next one.